Hello, I'm Introducing and welcome back to City Skylines. So, how are we doing over here right now? Uh, not much congestion, not much congestion at all. It's running uh, fairly smoothly, in fact. Look at the amount of traffic on there. It's really running quite smoothly. That's not. That That's quite the opposite of smooth. That's like chunky peanut butter. No, actually, that's more like gravel in comparison to smooth. This this is not what we call smooth. This is a nightmare. Ah, I mean it's bad over here, but this was never designed to be good. This this area was designed as our first area, so it's got some excuse for being terrible. Oh, this area here is working very nicely. Look at that, very nice. Uh, here, on the other hand, it was kind of designed to be a nice place, and it's not doing a very good job of it. Oh, you're burning down. That's not a good thing. Oh, at least been put out. There's a lot of people there waiting for buses. Wow. So, uh, well, what are we going to do about this? Also, thank you for pointing out in the comments that I accidentally built some hospitals. Luckily, the uh, next episode being this episode is actually recorded in a different batch, so I actually noticed. Thank you for the comments. We're going to have a great, great healthcare system over here, uh, but we'll also need to put in a couple of crematoriums just to make sure people are satisfied with the ability to actually get rid of the dead bodies. We'll put one here. One here. And put one on the outside as well. And then... There. And that should cover the entire place fairly well. Alright. Now, we've got a couple of ways that we can solve the traffic congestion. The one that I want to try out today is something I've seen on... I think it's a Reddit post or something? Involving a liberal use of pathways. Now, you don't normally notice pathways because they're not in here. They're not under you know, normal traffic things. They're actually under decorative. And that's why I've kind of ignored them for a long period of time. But if you grab the uh, pavement path, basically, just like a road, you can use it to, you know, go up, go down, make, you know, interesting, bizarre spaghetti monsters that will summon Cthulhu and kill everyone. And I think that's what we're going to try out, because I've actually seen them working really well in some places. Some places, maybe not so much, but in some places, they work really, really well. So, I'm going down to speed one, and we'll give this a try. Oh, wow, that's uh, stationary traffic and a half. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. I've... We'll solve this at some point. This is actually going to need more than just a uh, pedestrian path, probably. But for now, well, we'll just focus on pedestrian paths. So, what I want to do is I want to put pedestrian paths, you know, going down most uh, most roads, connecting most places, and uh, especially going over this river so that people can get from districts to the other districts around to car there. So, to start off with, I'm probably going to go with some form of uh, just quick linking one over here. This already occupied, okay. What if we were to raise it? So it's too steep, so it's too steep, come on. Play with me, space rock pad. Okay, fine. Well, what if we were to do something else? Right, um... Now, people don't tend to use these. I mean, they, they look like pavements, but people don't tend to actually use them on bridges. So you actually need to come up with some other sort of cunning plan. Um, I'm looking for a gap in the buildings. I don't know why I'm doing that. I know there's not going to be a gap. I'm going to need to manufacture one. So let's choose... Yeah. Start at the bottom. Space rock pad. Surely you should just be deleted. Okay, let's pause. Delete. Ah, I need to go from there. Okay, that makes sense. Instead of pulling off the road, I need to pull from uh, just, you know, outside of that. Can I go above that? No, I can't. Okay, so we're going to need to go uh, underneath the power cable. Oh, actually... Ooh, that looks close, but no cigar. However, what we can do is we can go to here. Connect those two together. I think maybe we put maybe another one here and definitely one here and then, you know, a couple over the top of the highway to make sure that's done. And maybe even one all the way over to here. I mean, they're fairly cheap, so at the end of the day, there's not a massive downside to putting them in. Oh, 
look at that, the price of that, less than three grand. The potential saving is well worth it. That's actually too low, and oh my god, we've created a hole in the world! Um, I'm going to leave this hole in the world before it summons Cthulhu. There we go. I delete a building, but now I've got it going in behind the bus stop. And that should allow people to travel across there if they want to walk to work over the world's longest pedestrian footpath. Where else? Uh, we need one up here, definitely. Thinking if we can, put it directly by the side of the, uh, the bridge. Now, the question is, can I get it high enough to make sure that we don't need to have some complicated setup of our power systems? And it looks like I maybe can. Okay. Down again. Interesting how it chooses to dip down at the very end there. I guess people are a lot more malleable than cars. Uh, Alright, what are we going to do? One at the top, maybe? Yeah, we could do one at the top. They are pretty uh, dense residential zones. I think it would probably be beneficial to put one up here. All it means is getting rid of this one building, which is fine by me. A very odd bridge. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Uh, what we got over here? I mean, are pedestrians using this footpath? Yeah, they are. Okay, so that's fine. I don't need to put one in there. Who can get around mostly in here by uh, footpath? Where else? We need definitely to go over this. Right, so to connect these two areas, I definitely want a footpath going in. I think a flying footpath is probably a good idea because most roads are going to be at the space level. So a flying footpath will basically mean that it can ignore... Uh, no, I need to... Yeah, I need to get oh, that's, an, that's a natural thing. Um, right, so put that there. Maybe if I go directly up... up again? No. Okay. So in fact we can't actually go over the top of that, so it's going to need to be footpaths on the ground, I think. Or we could just run it high until we get there, zigzag under it. Zigzag like you mean it. Zigzag like you mean it. Come on. Then, down, 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 down. Uh, I think I'm one too long. So too sweet, yeah. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Ugh. It is the season of pollen, and the pollen knows it. Right, so there we go. We've got ourselves our uh, interesting uh, pedestrian walkway. Hopefully that'll take a little bit of the pressure off. Now, there's only one pedestrian walkway. Let's see what it does. What we should see is slowly people start pathing using it. Not instantly, but hopefully. It will come in useful now. Of course, I don't think I've actually put it in anywhere near a bus stop, which is a shame, because normally you really want the pedestrian pathways near, near, near bus stops. Ooh, there we go. Very first person to use it. Let's find out what your name is, good sir, ma'am. Rosemary Gray, ma'am. Uneducated adult, the Sigma residence. University student at university, and you didn't even get educated? Okay, cool. Going to school. Fair enough. Good for you. You know, more power to you. Some people standing around up there. Out front of the high school. Ah, there's a bus stop here. Okay, so we do a bus stop at least somewhere nearby. Let's check on the number of people using our lovely new path system. Uh, that's another. Okay, I'll be completely honest. not getting as much use as I'd want. What over here? 
Oh, people actually use this uh, already as a walkway. Okay. Okay, I did not know that. Fair enough. People are definitely using this one, though. Look at this. Not a lot of people, but certainly a number of people that makes it worthwhile. And over here... Yeah, there's definite groups of people on this one. Quite a lot of people, actually. Not a lot, a lot of people, but definitely enough that makes it completely and utterly worthwhile. I'm so glad I put this one in. Um, hopefully that'll take a little bit of strain off the roads, though, you know, down this end it wasn't a massive strain already. Our real strain areas are, of course, over here. So maybe we need to put a, a walkway over there and a walkway over there. Actually, that's a really good idea. We'll do that right now. Because that's where a lot of the, uh, the pressure from the traffic is coming in. So, how do we thread a walkway? I, I don't, like, we could put the walkway out the side. I kind of want to thread the walkway if possible. Go. And then we'll need to go to about here and then go down and in. I think it's the general consensus. Or we could go like this. And go internal to the blocks. I kind of like the idea of going internal. Oh, that space is already occupied by something. Okay, um... Sure, do that. It's a weird setup, but maybe it'll work. A lot of people walking past, so hopefully they'll use it. There's a bus stop down here, so it's fairly close. I mean, it looks awful. But then again, this was never really known for its uh, lovely aesthetic. We should probably use the, uh, the squiggly tool, as opposed to the straight line tool for it. I gotta admit, that would have probably looked a lot better. Still a lot of people running down here. Where are they all coming from? They're just coalescing. And what they're doing is they're heading towards this bus stop. Which is way, 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 way oversubscribed. No one wants to use my lovely road. Hmm. <gasps> Someone is using it! What is your name? I need to know your name. Uh, I also need to get rid of this so I can get your name. William Murray. Oh, welcome to the uh, the ridiculously long catwalk that's not squiggly around a squiggly thing, which is kind of awful. Uh, right. Let's also put in another one over here, and this time we'll make it squiggly. Make it look a little bit better. I think we'll lead in from... Screw it. We'll lead directly in from the bus stop. We can go for that, can't we? To maybe be here to get enough height. There we go. Or we could hit that. Hmm. I don't think we've really hit it. We're much closer to the. Uh Highway over the other side, but okay. Whatever you say, game. You are the boss. Oh, well, we can actually get under it, so that's obviously not the issue. What is the issue? Oh, it's that road. Is that see the road being too close? Must be the see the road being too close. No, it seems to be highlighting this is the problem road. I'm not sure what its issue is, really. Maybe it just doesn't like me. Right, now the issue is managing to get around these roads over here, which is, you know... A I'll admit it, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, and it's complaining about the road on top of it. I think this is maybe a bug in that if you start under a road, it complains about that road intersecting. When well, it's not. Like, it's blatantly not. It's uh, way above us. Page down. We should be able to feed under. I 
And then... To there. And then we've got our lovely little passenger thingy. Passenger thingy? Pathway thingy. There we go. I think that one actually looks a lot better. I mean, this one looks horrific. That one looks better. I'm actually delete this one and make it a little bit more squiggly. And I wonder if this is actually going to get used. Because there is a lot of delivery over here. And they tend to be a lot of commercial things. So, probably not going to be as useful. I have to admit that. A budget like budget for buses gun increase that all the way all the way we need more buses on this route we need more buses everywhere frankly more buses all buses all the time that is my point of view is it just me or does the traffic look slightly better uh, no it doesn't actually it just looks better here here it's still blocked Hey, what happens if you come off here and you want to get over here? You come off here. But if you want to go here, you actually have to go on the motorway and then straight off again. This is the problem we're having. People are coming on the motorway and they're coming straight off. So I think we've actually got to connect uh, somewhere else. Because this is slowing down the online. I've got straight roads again. No, bad straight roads. Go away. I like them curvy. Uh, or d deleted. No, I don't like them deleted. Let's solve that problem. that kink will do. Now, when they want to get over the other side, they're probably going to have to do a loop around. So I want to put a loop in and allow them to do that fairly easily. So let's just put a quick uh, loop in. Actually, we'll just do a normal loop, feed it off this side and on. Okay, so up. And then ideally I'd need to upgrade this to a uh, highway to be able to let it get you know, enough flow. Problem is, I can't really thread that. So I'm actually going to delete and put a new highway in. Just to, to get the, like, the maximum amount of car flowing through. Because at the moment you see it's absolutely crazy. We're not getting way anywhere near enough uh, traffic through. So put you in. Or we could not be able to build here because of silly reasons. Much better. Great. Right, well, let's... Can we at least make this come over here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, and we can't do that either. This game sometimes is very annoying with its placement rules. Right, I can do that. I was worried for a moment. Let us try and do it how it was before. Slightly better threaded, maybe. Well, we deleted that, but that's fine. We can always solve that. Um, I was anyway going to delete this here and just put a, a more, you know, friendly organic looking wiggly one in that you know worships our lord and savior cthulhu a little bit better uh we also need to put this connection road in there we go it's only a temporary solution it doesn't really ease a lot of traffic flow but it should help a little bit not so backing up onto the highway which really doesn't help. That has a knock-on effect on everything. Right, so let us start squiggling this one in. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle. Squiggle, there we go. Right. 
now. There we go. So people going directly across are actually taking this route as I wanted. People backed up on the highway are now getting to go down and fill this area up because it's a uh, triple lane highway. This is still a little bit of a danger area in terms of, you know, being very poorly fed. At the end of the day, what can I say? I really need to put something better in here. Probably like a double roundabout system, really. How are we doing down there? Still way too much congestion. This route actually is getting a lot more congestion. Why is this route getting congested? People joining here are having issues and people changing lane. Why are they changing? Hmm. It's flowing a little bit better now, but it's still very backed up. I mean, this area here is actually flowing better than it was. This, this can't be this road, right? No one uses... I don't know. Some people are using it, but not enough to make a difference. Is it this road over here? Or pathway? No, no one uses this. Oh, two people. There we go. Two people use that pathway. Oh, this pathway. Yeah, it's getting some use. Oh, this one definitely gets use. Look at that. Shoals of people. Shoals. Tens of them, even. Building on fire. Well, it's going to have to bloody well deal with itself. This is fine. Look at the number of buses here. Oh, my God. It's, it's just buses. The entire thing is buses. Traffic there is moving. Which is more than I can say for a lot of the city. Bus stops are still effectively mosh pits. And traffic there is now slowing to get onto this new one, but only because for some reason it's slowing down. And they need higher capacity. Well, I should probably turn it into a, a highway then, considering the capacity it needs. Like, look at that. So much capacity needed. But this is all because it's going on to here and getting slowed down here by there being, you know, two sets of traffic lights. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn this into a, a roundabout and this into a roundabout while I'm at it. Or just one roundabout underneath there. And they feed into the roundabout and then the roundabout feeds into these lanes. But I'm going to have to do it roundabout-wise because these are terrible designs. I don't even know why they're in here currently. These look like awful designs. I don't know what I was thinking when I put these in. You know, it's, it's an attempt at a roundabout but it's using the wrong road. So it's not a roundabout, it's just a load of intersections and... You know, this, this is what is slowing down this off-ramp. It's this. You can see there's not much traffic here. All the traffic starts here. It's behind this intersection, so I've got to get rid of that. Over here, ah, uh, well, there's not much I can do about you, really, at the end of the day. All in all, in most other places, I think this is, uh, I think it's working. I think it is working. So, you know, this episode, just to, you know, a couple of fixes and getting a couple of pedestrian paths in, which do help. I think the next episode we'll be concentrating on fixing this, and then maybe we'll consider doing it maybe another district or something. We have got a lot of money saved up. But, uh, you know, until next time, I've been really hoping you enjoyed today's episode. It's just really, you know, patchwork fixing and putting in these paths. I don't know if the paths are really that good, but they certainly save us on, you know, a little bit of whatever goes on the road. Any sort of vehicles off the road is a good thing in my book. But uh, until next time, if you enjoyed today's episode, if you like, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and stay shiny.